weekly tournament update, January 19th to January 25th, 2015. Uh, so let's get the show started. First things first, we have Conspiracy Comics 844 King Street West in Hamilton on Monday at 6.30 p.m. Monday being January 19th. We have the Fire and Ice 400-point Tag Team Sealed. Uh, using only one booster from any main set or any five single Gravity Feed or Countertop Display set boosters, you'll be randomly assigned a partner to build a 400-point team from what you both pull from your boosters. Games will be played two-on-two. Uh, the cost for entry is $15. First place gets you Asriel from the Batman uh, OP kit. Uh, first, second, third, and Fellowship will get a suit of Soros, and there'll be more participation prizing. Uh, moving right along as well, Monday, January 19th at 6 p.m. at 1022 Brock Street South in Whitby, Ontario. We have Casual Monday. Uh, this week is a 1,000-point 1, tournament. Whoo! Uh, battle Royale format, so 1,000 points, everybody pick a corner, go! That is going to be a bloodbath. Uh, um, no resources, no cardboard, no battlefield conditions, no possession by entities. There is the exception, of course, of Pogs or Bystander tokens created from figures, so like Eva and Alyosha Craven. Um, moving on to Tuesday at 401 Games, it will be a Flash Battle Royale. Now, my understanding from what I've uh, heard on Facebook is this will be four people to map. Each person picks a pack. You draft your from your pack. Uh, whoever does the best in the end of the Battle Royale uh, gets first pick uh, in a draft for all the figures from the packs, uh, as well as other possible prizes. Don't quote me on that one. <laughs> um, so moving along. Uh, nothing going on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, Black Knight Games at 868 Mohawk Road East in Hamilton, Ontario at 6 p.m. Will be 400 point Silver Age. Uh, at the beginning of each round, you'll be handed an event dial to use. Now, there's a lot to talk about with Black Knight Games. First things first. Silver Age of Black Knight Games is all figures and tactics except for feats and battlefield conditions are allowed. Secondly, the price for this event is $5 or uh, $5 for Stronghold members or $6 for non-Stronghold members. Stronghold members at $25 a year, you do get bonuses and purchasing, <laughs> purchasing uh, incentives, uh, money you... Spend at Black Knight Games as a Stronghold member gets further put into uh, later purchases. As well, there's more incentives for events such as this. Or, I might add, the upcoming League event, which is starting in February. Now, for 16 weeks, uh, or Black Knight Games is going to be running a League, which will include a $20 membership, or it will be free if you're a Stronghold member. Um, as well, each tournament will be, of course, the $5 or $6 uh, format. So $5 for Stronghold members, $6 for non-Stronghold members. Now, what this prizing go what goes into this is a lot of prizing. Uh, over the 16 weeks, there will be a series of different events. Each event will have its own kind of rules to it. Uh, the winner of each event will get one point towards their event points. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, here we go. Um, showing up to an event gets you a point, so having a pulse and being there gets you an uh, event point. Um, winning a roll-off, not 100% sure on that one, you'll have to ask Brad at the store. Uh, and there'll be nif the nifty team prize, so your team is wacky, or pretty cool idea, uh, you get a point. Um, there'll be a random event stipulation, which will include such things as you show up for a modern age tournament, forgot all your stuff, and build up from a bunch of packs you just bought, or it's a golden age tournament, but all your figures are gold. <laughs> Um, as well, there'll be fellowship voting at the end of the month, uh, and that's worth two points. Uh, so what we have on the docket so far for prizes, there is a case of, and I have this confirmed now, uh, Trinity War with the case incentive, uh, a brick of Justice Justice League with the case incentive, um, two, two sets of five boosters of Trinity War, and two $50 Black Knight gift certificates are in the prizing pool already. Now, the way you get the prizes at the end of everything is the what is it? The blah, 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 person with the most points at the end of the season will get four raffle tickets towards the draw. Um, the second place person gets three tickets towards the draw. Uh, the most fellowship points gets two, uh, draw, uh, two tickets to the draw. 
Uh, most neatest team prizes uh, gets you two draws, and everyone else gets a draw. So even like if you've shown up and like just shown up, you get at least one ticket towards the draw. So that's how it works. So kind of the prizing at the end of it is very very random still. Uh, so you could do the best and still not necessarily get the first place prize. So it's kind of the idea of going on. It's kind of promoting some uh, more fun, more interesting play, more uh, goofing around in this sense. So that's, once again, Black Knight Games at 868 Mohawk Road East in Hamilton every Thursday at 6 p.m. starting in February is when that league uh, is going to go. Oh, oh, give me get my breath back here. <laughs> uh, we move into Friday, Friday, uh, Friday. Friday we, er, we have a casual event at Wizards Cash, 333 Bloor Street West, Toronto, Ontario uh, at 6.30 p.m. This one... Casual, this casual Friday uh, is practice for the upcoming pre-April ROC events. Now, one of which, of course, I will be talking about, or a couple of which I'll be talking about later, but of course we have the event coming up in Windsor, and a lot of people need a little bit more familiarity with the format and would like to try some things against the, the metagame that exists in it. And that, that said, I personally do plan on showing up for this casual Friday and bringing some of the teams that are more popular in the meta. So those of you who want some practice and some chances to give it a try, I will be there. To uh, be your punching bag, see how it works, see how your team works in comparison to the to the current meta. So once again, that's 333 Bloor Street West, uh, casual Friday on Friday, the Wizards Cash. Uh, moving into Saturday at 20 Strathern Avenue, the comic book warehouse in Brampton, Ontario, at 2 p.m. We are running, or they are running, <laughs> uh, a 500-point Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. Now there's a couple stipulations. Stipulation number one. 50% of your team has to come from Yu-Gi-Oh! Series 2. That's stipulation number one. Stipulation number two, your entire team, your entire force, must only contain Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero Clicks uh, elements. I don't think there's even a relic, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is, this is also going to include traps and spells. You'll be allowed to use them for this event. Uh, and yeah, so everything Yu-Gi-Oh! That, that includes your resources. I mean, if you somehow got the Millennium Puzzle, you bring it. I want to see what it does, really. <laughs> um, I doubt you do, though, because otherwise you're a wizard. Um, and yeah, that's, once again, Saturday at the Comic Warehouse, 20 Strathern Avenue at 2 p.m. Uh, Sunday, we roll around to Comic Book Addiction on January 25th at 12.30 p.m., at 1022 Brock Street South in Whitby, Ontario, at Comic Book Addiction. I've said it twice now. It's a 600-point Golden Age constructed tournament. Uh, okay, for this one, characters on your starting force may not change into another figure for this tournament. So no, no morphing, no alter egos, etc., etc. Your highest point figure and lowest point figure share powers and abilities with each other. Including any special powers and team abilities, but not combat abilities. So if one flies, the other does not. But if one has charge, both of them have charge. Make sense? Awesome. Um, if you knock out one of the two connected figures, then they're both considered KO. Careful. Uh, your combat value stay the same. Range, attack, value, defense value, etc. Your force must have a minimum of two characters on it. And of course there's prizes for victory and fellowship. All right, so that's the heads up for the week in tournaments. Uh, moving along, we have uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, on January 24th, two-headed games in Kentucky. Uh, Highland Heights, Kentucky. Uh, two-headed games, 2899 Alexandria Pike. Um, Highland Heights, Kentucky, 41076. Is there a zip code? <laughs> uh, they're running a ROC Super Qualifier. Uh, they're running, of course, pre-April event, so that's 300 points, modern age, no tactics, no or entity of possession, or double bases, or smaller figures. Uh, start time on that one is 11 a.m. Entry fee is $25. There is, of course, the standard ROC prize packs, as well as possible additional uh, 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 prizing. And there will be some four-man battle royales to be held with OP kit prizes off to the side. So, as well, there's a 400-point sealed event after the top 16 cut. Uh, Con Ellie prizes for the winner. So that's, again, two-headed games in Highland Heights, Kentucky. And 
Now, the local ROC events. We are now confirmed at the Comic Warehouse. February 21st, we are running a Road to Windsor qualifier. Qualifier being, of course, free entry into Windsor. You do don't have to necessarily qualify to get to Windsor. Um, I'm just calling it a qualifier because it's cute. <laughs> um, we are running a 300-point no tactics, nothing bigger than a peanut base, a standard pre-April format for... Uh, um, oh, wait, no entity possession. The standard pre-April format for the ROC going into... Um, the Windsor event, which will be running, of course, the pre-April ROC event as they're required to, being a super qualifier. Uh, that's, again, 20 Strathern Avenue at the Comic Book Warehouse. We are running this event. We have a Facebook uh, Facebook event. Uh, if you're planning on coming, list yourself as going. Uh, we're really excited to see. A whole bunch of people are really excited telling us that they're going to be coming. Um, we have 10 people on the going list on the Facebook event right now, but keep them coming, guys. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people at the event. It's going to be really exciting. It'll be a good chance to prepare yourself instead of going to Windsor and being shocked by what you run into and what you see at the tournament and how the tournament is operated. Uh, it's better to come to our event, spend five bucks, which is the entry fee, five bucks, um, get a chance to win a map, get a chance to win pre-qualifier, and experience the event itself. Uh, it's better to do than that smaller smaller idea as opposed to going there, spending $30 for the for the entry fee, and then not, go, not really being ready for what kind of thing is going on. That said... Uh, the next day, the Sunday, February 22nd, the uh, Comic Book Addiction at 1022 Brock Street South in Whitby will is tentatively running their qualifier for the Super Qualifier. Uh, I plan on going to that one because I'm going to be running the one at Comic Book Warehouse. I wouldn't like a chance to play, practice with my team as well to see how it does and make my tweaks before the event. Uh, as well, we're also tentatively got one at Black Knight Games. Uh, once again, that's eight... I don't have this one memorized yet. 868 Mohawk Road Easton in uh, Hamilton. And they're tentatively running it February 28th, which will be the next week after the Comic Book Warehouse and the Comic Book Addiction one. So, there's a lot coming down uh, coming down the pipe in Ontario for the ROC. Uh, all this, of course, culminating in March 7th with the Windsor Super Qualifier ROC at the Ambassador Golf Club. i got to start actually getting some uh, in, some more information with regards to hoteling and everything to help share with that. Um, that said, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope to see you guys next week as well. And let's, uh, let's keep this train going. Uh, what, what is that?